I have to look up on the calendar a lot of times what the date is. Look for M and a U. Really, M, but no, not a U. That's right. It was causing causing us pause that right. regular family events and uh, plans that we had talked about were not being remembered. Just forgetting uh, people's names. I did get lost on Johnstown Road <laughs> at one time and didn't know where in the world I was. You think I could see it better if I looked at it the way you're looking? <laughs> There is no crystal ball. There is no road map. There is no diagnosis that says it, this is going to happen, then this is going to happen, then this is going to happen. So planning is on the fly. You can't go over there. Get over to the left. We try to put puzzles together and do things, mind games. And all right. that. I see. Trying to be patient and not being negative, not feeling frustrated or guilty when I am frustrated, <laughs> not giving up. I'm trying to help. Hold that fence. <laughs> I'm very grateful, personally, to have known about EVMS. One of the discerning factors about Dr. Akwahavi and EVMS was the manner in which they dealt with an elderly person. I was so touched, it almost made me want to cry, in all honesty, because he, his bedside manner, he didn't rush, was so kind and just gentle with her. It made you feel like, well, we'll maybe get through this, we can get through this, so. Yeah. Is everybody there? I would definitely look into the Glennon Center. I'm very, very glad that we did for Wren. So I think I'm, I'm uh, feeling happy that things are going well right now. <laughs>